guys, don't have much battery, but just wanted to say that I did drive the car once while having the motor mounts fully completed, and the car did drive amazing uh, with the front torque mount. Didn't have it preloaded because I forgot, I guess I just didn't do it, so it was just totally loose front torque mount. Not loose, but just hanging in there, and uh, um, yeah, jam night's not jam nuts not tightened and then the side mounts were both filled and they dried they did dry they took time to dry somebody on instagram said i should have filled one side waited and then filled the other side um and then it would have dried quicker but i ended up just waiting like three days or something like that and that's when it actually firmed up they firmed up really good um i'll show you guys at some point but they're really hard like like a brick so i know the ones in there are hard too that one squirted out but it's all good now um, so if you guys do do it like I did it just wait just be prepared to wait days for it to dry but other than that hardly any vibration uh, transmitted through I haven't put the rear one in yet but uh, being that the side mounts are the ones that hold the motor while it's idling and everything and those vibrated uh, hardly any noticeable amount so pretty excited about that I uh, definitely got some added motor stiffness I could feel when shifting uh, if I let off the clutch quickly, I could feel the motor grab harder um, and more jerky than it ever has. So that was cool to notice. Um, but yeah, so it remains to be seen. I haven't actually got to take the car out again, but did get this primed. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'll show you guys that. Maybe I'll throw a few clips in right now. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video coming up to you and uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. So hopefully you guys are ready for a fun episode here. We're doing window weld motor mounts. So this is like a real hack job, like some like hood shit, but that's okay because you know, I'm cheap and I like to do cheap stuff. And you know what? This proves that you can do cheap stuff and still make it look halfway decent too. You know, like all this is cheap garbage, but it looks great in my opinion. Hopefully you guys think so too. Or else why would you be here right but what we're doing today is window weld and this is what we're going to weld up here um, so 3m makes this stuff called window weld which it's inside right now because it's been in there overnight warming up because it's super cold here but uh, we're going to squirt the window weld into the gaps in this motor mount and if you guys haven't watched my last video where I actually cut this motor mount in half realized that there was fluid in it drained all the fluid out into this bucket and we ended up with uh, this whole cut in half situation here but i'm going to fill this up with window weld too to add some stiffness because that's tied into the motor mount um, this whole area up here that has some flex so i'm going to first go ahead and wire brush this whole thing uh, maybe take some sandpaper to it in some areas and just make sure that we get really good adhesion and then i want to clean it off really good um, just to make sure that the window weld sticks really good and effectively what that's going to do is by filling in all these gaps it's going to allow the motor to move less in the actual mount itself and once it hardens it should I mean it is going to increase vibration in the car slightly but hopefully um, it holds the motor more solid and that's kind of the goal with this whole thing because the more solid your motor is held the uh, less likely you are to break stuff like axles and um, you know bad things can happen with the transmission and differential if you have wheel hop and stuff like that so we're trying to minimize any sort of rocking or shifting of the motor so having solid mounts is ideal but they're very expensive so this is like a nice trick that you can do to you know stiffen up your motor mounts I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this one at the same time I have to look up whether this window weld has to be used all at the same time or not um, if it does then I may have to do both of them and I guess for the back one I guess I just will leave it uh, the way it is because I have like a, a nice plastic uh, motor mount insert in there that's pretty solid in the back so I think that that one's probably okay but I do have this solid mount in the front now hard to see with that downpipe and turbo and all that crap in the way but you know not crap but good stuff but it's in the way that front mount is solid so hopefully the front mount being solid the uh, two side mounts being window welded, we should be pretty solid with this thing. So I'm gonna get to work and I'll let you guys know whether or not we can do this all in one shot. All 
All right, so that was like the biggest pain ever, but I got the other side motor mount out. It looks like it's in pretty decent shape. It's not actually cracked or ripped or anything. I never replaced this one, so this one is uh, just a good old factory mount. I was going to try to remove it, um, just the top, but I couldn't. So I ended up having to mess around with the way the motor's jacked, and that was a huge pain. The way I have the torque mount set up, I had to unbolt that. And then the motor got all cockeyed in there, and it was all crazy. And I don't know which way it was supposed to be, and I'm jacking it up on this side, that side. It, honestly, it was a huge pain in the butt. <laughs> but finally got it out. And uh, this other guy right here is a motor mount that I bought for the rear of the vehicle. And I also bought these Prothane bushings to put in. And those bushings didn't actually fit in this aftermarket motor mount that I bought since it wasn't a Honda OEM. So I ended up just putting the stock one in there with the bushing because I figured it would be better off than this one anyway. But uh, now we're going to fill this one, and next time I get around to it, I'll change that rear motor mount when I'm feeling bored. But not really feeling it right now. So I'm going to do these guys, this one, this rear motor mount, and this side one as well. I'll probably unbolt it from here just for now, and uh, see if we can make this thing look nice. i got to clean up this last one here, and then we'll get the window weld ready. Alright, so we got our window weld right here. This is the caulk gun tube here so we got the gun right there this is the tube obviously we got to pull this thing off the bottom and then we'll be able to squeeze it out here so we got to puncture this and cut ourselves a slit in this and then we should be able to just fill these motor mounts in hopefully everything stays in place I don't know if it's gonna fall out I guess if it does start to fall out then I guess I could just tape it up and it won't look really as pretty as I thought it was gonna look but hopefully it's thick enough to just stay in place and I can just kind of gob it in there. Um, these are kind of fat gaps, especially this one is like a huge gap. So we'll see exactly how well it fills that in. Maybe I will need to tape one side. Um, I'll see which side the front side is and I'll make sure I tape the back and the front I can make look nice. Um, and this one right here, just going to fill this in really good. You don't really see this one and uh, this one you definitely don't see on the back. So this is the only one that really needs to look decent in my opinion um, but I am window welding motor mounts so it's not gonna look that great I understand that <laughs> but I'm gonna get started did or didn't film it I thought I was going to maybe I didn't I didn't look like it was recording so that's kind of a bummer but got this whole thing squeezed used almost the whole tube so if you have more than this to do you might want to get more than one tube but I filled it in really good and uh, yeah it's looking really solid especially that one right there that guy is loaded up so we should be looking pretty good I think that we're gonna be much more solid than we were these uh, these mounts are going to hold, I think. So 
I'm pretty pumped. They're looking good. I'm going to go ahead and set these guys up upright like this. It looks like this stuff is super thick. So I did the top of that one too, like I was saying. So this stuff's nice and thick, so it's uh, not going to go anywhere. So I can just leave these guys. I'll let you guys know when it ends up drying and what it feels like when it's dry. So guys, it is the following day and I got these motor mounts. Uh, they've been sitting next to the fireplace inside. I brought them in the night that I uh, actually squirted them after they kind of got like a little bit of a, uh, a skin over them and they weren't so smelly. I brought them inside and sat them by the fire so that they could uh, dry fully. And I just now put a coat of paint on them just so that uh, it all looked about the same color. Uh, they painted pretty well. It seems like we didn't get any bubbling up or anything. Just used uh, some Krylon spray paint, Color Max. It's pan primer, so I feel like feel like uh, it, you know primes good. So just like one quick coat, and then I ran it in front of the propane heater. But uh, yeah, it, it was still a little squishy. But you know I'm not going to be driving the car yet. I'm just going to put them in, hold the motor. So I think we should be fine. They only uh, you know pulled down on it a little bit. Probably not that much. The mounts mainly move when the car is, uh, you know, twisting in the bay. So uh, should be fine. These just hold the, the car up. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this one in. I already went ahead and put in the other one. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty stoked. It looks, you know, not that bad, honestly. There's not really much that you can actually see from the job that I did other than uh, it looks nice and shiny because it's nice and painted. But uh, I filled in that top gap and there's also the bigger gap down low that you can't even see. But uh, this other one you probably won't see much either other than what's on top. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that one in. And uh, virtually it doesn't even look any different except maybe the uh, you know mounts are a little shinier. I was worried that you're going to be able to see it. but. I forgot that you can't see the rear mount, this mount you only see the top of, and the other mount you barely even see. So, yeah, we should be good. It's not even going to look hacked, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and throw this guy in. So I kind of feel like Charlie from the Boosted Boys when his, he put those uh, motor mounts in when they weren't ready. I figured these would be ready. They had plenty of time to dry, but this back one over here like was oozing. It like shot out. I don't even understand how. The motor must have got jacked up more in the front and it like tweaked it and uh, I don't know why but I was having trouble getting the front motor mount on so I ended up having to loosen all my tension and everything because it looks like I'm going to have to do that whole preload thing every time that I take it off so I really got to bust the jam nuts loose and do all that stuff but that just proves to me that this is not ready so <laughs> based on that I'm going to leave this thing sitting here like this and it should sit where the motor likes to sit. And then hopefully these mounts fully firm up like that. And uh, then this thing will be sitting like it's got to sit. So obviously i got to leave the car for a couple more days. It's been one full day. Figured it would be dry staying inside with the warmth. But I guess it's not fully, fully dry because this stuff is really thick. So I guess it is what it is. You um, can see it looks like maybe we're even bulging a little bit here. Which is pretty interesting. I guess that's okay. Um... But yeah, looks like uh, it's going to do the trick. It's going to do what it's supposed to. So hopefully it stays uh, looking good. Yeah, it's pretty interesting how it bulges like that. It's because of the weight of the motor sitting on it now. But I would like to preload it, but I will do that at a later date. But uh, I do think it's good that it's going to dry like this. And then, uh, you know, that'll be how the motor sits like it's supposed to sit in the car. But yeah, going to let these guys dry for more time, I guess. Eventually I will take it for a ride, but so far it seems to have worked, um, but I have no way of knowing if it did anything for vibration. Um, and I also still haven't swapped the rear mount in there. So kind of an inconclusive video, but uh, this is the process and it has been known to work, so I'm sure it's going to be just fine. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and if this is your first time tuning in, uh, definitely make sure to subscribe and uh, more videos like this and other videos too and hopefully we can get the car running soon and do some tuning videos and you know all sorts of cool stuff like that so stay tuned guys and uh, definitely like the video and you know keep on watching I appreciate it thanks peace out